All right. It's my second shot at doing this video. It's going to be the uh, the interior handle for a Chevy Express. This is a 2003 Chevy Express 3500 series. It's a box cutaway truck, but that should be irrelevant according to the interior door panel. Um, it is a G series, but this is the new one, and it's just there's these clips that are normally on here and you have to come in here and you gotta you're gonna have to pry this pry this away and, and wiggle these out of here so I have the new the new door handle so I'm gonna do I'm gonna put these clips on first because <laughs> the last video well, I'm trying to get this thing on here and I'm like it won't go on like five minutes I'm pushing hitting and I'm like oh the clips so these clips have to go on and they just they just push in they come in a bag these handles um, I think they were like 30 bucks 35 bucks a piece um, I use eBay more than Amazon just because of my delivery history as a UPS driver employee whatever so I still do a lot of my mechanic work. I'm going to do a lot more now. It's my freedom job. I work for myself. So I figured every little thing I do mechanic-wise, I'm going to try to do a detailed, unedited, live, as much realistic as I can videos. So when you get these new ones, they're going to come like this. And the reason they don't put the clips on is so that they don't ship them like this and they get stuck in there and they break when people take these apart. So let's remove the first, the original. Was, this is how it was when I bought the truck. The other side, I wish I would have kept, I wish I would have messed up that video, but um, that other side was pretty jacked up. So I'm using my power screw gun. Take these out. There's uh, two different size screws here. And it's a nice day out. First day of spring, 2021. March 21st, or today's the 22nd. I don't even know. It's been really hectic stuff going on. Uh, this one stays. That's for the door. Nope. No, this one's got to come out. And then these screws come out. This one, I don't think, is supposed to be in there. Could be wrong the other side was oh it looks like it is hey i got two free clips for next time because these do break a lot anyone who has these vans know these break um along with the door hinge my door hinge is broke the pen all right so the new one you're gonna mount the i would say the the base first and so no it's not gonna go like this it's gonna go like this so just line it up and start with the uh, the bigger screws, the bigger ones. I usually start this first one by hand because I can get my fingers in there and start it like that. Now it's not a threaded um, nut on the other side. It's a uh, it's like one of those quick quick grabs. So I'm gonna go it loose and use the other big one go slow make sure it catches leave it loose and you're gonna run all the little ones in the little the little ones go slow And then there's three on this side. There's this one. There's this one. Then there's the one that goes down. Yeah, this is a lot easier with the power screw gun. Now I'm going to change the screw head to the uh, more flat style. 
so it grips these bigger ones. Now I'm going to crank these down, but not too tight because this will break. So I'm going to take my gun, and now I'm just going to use the gun and turn it. Same with this big one here. Bring it in, and we use the gun to turn. I'm not, not using the power, um, the trigger. Keep these tight, not too tight, especially where I am. It's hot and cold, hot and cold. Now the little ones. Bring those in. Bring them in. Just snug them. And this one. Now I'm going to do the same thing. This one I'm going to use just the gun. No trigger. Make sure it's tight because these will crack. And you'll be all upset. This guy on YouTube does it. Look, I'm telling you. Snug them. You can always go back and tighten them. This is tight. Now, this part. This is the most common part to break is this on these. They snap off right here because you yanked the doors. You're trying to, it's because of these door hinges. But So you can make sure you got your clips pushed in. And you line them up. I usually like to put a little pressure on the handle. I usually start with the little, the, the single one right here. Make sure it's lined up. A little push or tap. Grab my other hand and use my free hand to just, just don't tight too tight because you'll get your finger, you'll get your skin pinched in here. So there's a little pressure and just kind of pushing it or pushing it. Let's see, this one doesn't want to line up that good. I just have to push them like this. That's it. It's in. It's double checking. I mean, it's it's in there. So that's basically how you replace them. I didn't have um, ones on here to replace to show you in full. But if you replace them, you could literally just break them off. Just wear gloves so you don't get cut, and safety glasses in case a piece breaks off. Be gentle with these. These will break. They will shatter, and you will get cut. So that's how you replace the interior handle on the uh, Chevy Express van. Same thing with the, the Savannahs, the GMC Savannahs, I'm pretty sure. All right. Thank you for watching.